Hello everyone, this is Sara and today we're going to be discussing about uh, stable angina. So what is stable angina and how it is caused? So let me tell you about its pathophysiology. So actually what happened is that if this is the heart, just imagine this is the heart. Okay, whatever this is the heart just imagine okay I'm not very good at art or whatever so so these are the coronary arteries responsible for the oxygen supply or blood supply to the muscle of heart I mean myocardium blood to muscles which are myocardium so these are responsible to supply blood to the myocardium so what myocardium do myocardium are responsible for contraction and relaxation of the heart through which blood is supplied to the whole body like if heart contracts it eject out all of its blood present in the heart to the body or to the lungs and when it relax it let the blood fill in itself so that it can pump it later to the body or lungs so what happens when there is blockage in this coronary arteries and this blockage how this blockage occurs this blockage occur when there is a plaque formation or there is some uh, blood clot. This plaque is formed when there is high level of cholesterol and this cholesterol or fatty uh, substance deposit on the, on the inner lining of blood vessels. So if we magnify this coronary artery like this so if this is the normal artery just imagine this is the normal but if we talk about stable angina in it if this is the normal artery it will have lipid deposits in the inner side of the or in the lumen of the vessel what will happen you can easily imagine if this is the whole area of the uh, vessel if there is something here so it will block the passage and there will be less area for the passage of the blood so there will be less area inside the vessel so normally there will be no problem in blood flow and there will be balance between oxygen supply and oxygen demand there will be balance but when there will be some physical activity like exercise or you are going uh, through stress or you are doing something exciting or you are uh, under simply you can say you are in this uh, fight and flight response which mean your sympathetic nervous system is activated like you are in stress so what will happen is that the sympathetic nervous system there is constriction of blood vessels like if this is the normal blood vessel and after sympathetic nervous system being activated there will be vasoconstriction because you are in fight flight response you want your brain to be working rather than your GI tract or other system to be working you want your stress to be released if you are taking a test you want your uh, brain to be working rather than your uh, GI tract to be activated what happens is that your whole body vessel constrict just to provide enough uh, oxygen to the brain cells so what happens here if you already have 
a plug over here in the blood vessels so if this is the normal blood vessel and you have a plug over here and when this is constricted plug will further decrease the area or space of the lumen so there will be less uh, space now present in the, the vessel so plug further decrease the diameter of the lumen of the vessel so by this way what happens is that and there will be imbalance between demand and supply of oxygen like if you are doing exercise you will be having increased demand but if you have this plug in your coronary artery what will happen is that when it is already being constricted and there, there is also presence of a plug then there will be further reduction in the size or in the lumen diameter so you will not be provided with sufficient supply of oxygen so there will be less oxygen supplied to the myocardium for the pumping activity which is required by your body uh, to uh, to move muscles or to exercise so in this way what will happen is that you will be ischemic in that part of the heart like if this artery is being blocked like i mentioned here before so this area or this muscle of the heart will be ischemic now what ischemic mean ischemic mean that the supply of oxygen is less than the demand of the oxygen so there will be ischemic uh, condition so ischemic condition is now different than that of infarction ischemic mean there is imbalance between both but your heart muscles aren't dying so uh, what infarction mean is that they are dying but ischemic only mean that there is imbalance between the demand and supply so this is what ischemic is so we have to balance both keep our body working so in this case the plug is doing its work in causing the ischemia in ischemia what happen is that if there is imbalance between the oxygen demand and oxygen supply so you will be having less oxygen so cell which need oxygen for their metabolism or for their activity they will shift their metabolism to anaerobic condition and we all know that in anaerobic condition there is accumulation of lactic acid and lactic acid is what cause the pain and that is indicated as chest pain and that is what happen in when you are having a uh, stable angina and now you will think that why demand is being increased as you know that if you are doing exercise you will be utilizing more energy you need more uh, movement of muscles because moving your muscles more and if you need more oxygen that means you need more blood to that part of body and more blood to be supplied to that part of body you need increased heart rate and for increased heart rate you want the myocardium muscle to contract fast and in this way there will be increased demand of oxygen so there are two condition in which uh, there can be increase in demand of oxygen that one is increased heart rate or number second is increase in muscle movement so these two factors can increase the demand of oxygen in the body but when this stress or this exercise or this physiological uh, stress on your body is released that it is removed from your body that you stop exercising or uh, you are not taking uh, test anymore then what will happen is that this all system will go back to normal that your sympathetic nervous system will go back to parasympathetic nervous system which nervous system will be more dominant in that case if you are at rest 
So what will happen is that uh, these vessels which were con constricted previously will be dilated now. And even if there is plaque formation, but there is enough uh, space in the lumen to pass the blood according to the demand of oxygen to the heart. So there will be no more uh, ischemic condition and thus there will be no anaerobic condition and thus there will be no pain or, or heaviness. So when you come back to rest or if you take nitroglycerin which is a vasodilator what both of these do is that they normalize the constricted vessels and there will be no more imbalance between the demand and supply of oxygen and now why it is called as stable angina it is called as stable because chest pain pattern and amount of effort needed to trigger the pain do not vary which means you know if you do will uh, you do exercise you will get angina otherwise you don't have any uh, chest pain or heaviness so this means it is stable that it is not causing you any trouble at rest you are not ischemic at rest then this will call as stable angina and this is also called as typical or classic and it is also called as effort induced angina because of exercise because you are doing something you are uh, doing an effort so So this, these are the three other names of uh, stable angina, effort induced, typical and classic angina. This was all about stable angina. If you have any questions related to the topic, let me know in the comment section below.